Today, I'll be opening up a $140 comic book mystery box from Sub-Zero Comics. Stick around. DJ Lynx is in the building. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, DJ Lynx, back in the building, back in effect, DJ and back Lynx. with another video. And today, another comic book mystery box, this time from Sub-Zero Comics. All his stuff will be in the description down below. Follow him on IG. Hit him up for a box if you like this box at the end of all this. A little bit of background. He put out three boxes at this $70 price point. He put up like, uh, I'm confused now. He put out three boxes at the $70 price point. Normally, I, I, if people put out boxes that are like 50 bucks or like 60 bucks, I normally get two. So these are $70 comic book mystery boxes. I know I said $140. But like we do here, we're just gonna combine them. Two $70 boxes makes 140. So this was a $140 ship. He put out the three boxes, I scooped up two. And um, there was one left and it sold, it sold out within like a couple of minutes, which is awesome. Um, he put out, right after that, which I was just like, dude! He put out uh, $250 mystery boxes with uh, slabs and stuff in it. All right, so before I even crack this open, I'll read fast forward in a second. Check this out, man. So this is on the box. Yeah, I chose box number two and box number three. Look at that. Holy smokes. That, <laughs> yo, that shit. Fire, son. All right, so boom, we are back. I opened it up. We got bundles two and three. I'm going to do two first. I'm going to look at it and then show it to you something different, something that I normally don't do. I will show it to you. Flip it around, you see my reaction. But we're just going to go through it um, because there's a lot of books here. So start off, uh, first and foremost, we got Ghost Rider. This is the Peach Momoko cover. I think this is Ghost Rider number three or four. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think it's three or four of the current series. This is super dope. I had gotten this cover because I'm reading Ghost Rider and I didn't know this was a peach because it's Austin over peach all day, but uh, that's super cool. Oh shit, Dark Hawk number one. This is dope, man. I used to love Dark Hawk back in the day. This picked up a lot of steam. Uh, what it was last year, was it? When they, an they announced a show or a movie or something or they, they copy written the name for, the, for a movie. But this is dope. I used to love this character back in the day. Nice. Fantastic first issue. First appearance of Darkhawk. That is super cool. Oh, shit. I don't even know what this is, but this is dope. It's a Superman book. It says Italian exclusive foil edition retelling his origin story. I've never seen this. Super dope. Super dope. What the hell? And I'm not even a Superman guy like that, but... I I recognize fire when I see it. A couple of spine activity going on over here, but that's okay. This is super dope, man. So far, I'm loving this. So far, I'm loving this. Uh, I have no idea what this is. I think I'm gonna crack. Oh, it says it on the back. I, I can't see because it's upside down, but let's see. We Live Age of Polydians, number one black. And this is the Ivan Tao variant. And this is number 135 of 300 printed. So that's dope. Super limited run, virgin variant. I need to get up on We Live. I don't know. Everybody tells me, yo, you need to read We Live. And I was like, yeah, I, I do. <laughs> and uh, I should have picked up the trade when I was at, because the trade is like sold out everywhere all the time. I should have picked it up when I was at uh, one of these cons and at the Aftershock booth had it. I think I knew your Comic Con. I'm going to make it my mission to pick up the We Live trade. But yeah, that's dope. Virgin variant. Oh, this is dope. What is this? Uh, is this uh, whatever? Uh, okay. Oh. We live Age of Polydians number one white, the Ivan Tao. So that's cool. So what are these like connecting covers or like competing covers? That's dope. That's dope. Virgin variant. And again, this is number 135 of 300. So this is like kind of like a set. That's actually really cool. <laughs> Yo, big shout out to the homie George Perez. RIP, man. RIP. Infinity Gauntlet number four, probably one of the most iconic Thanos covers ever printed. You know me, I, I love the Infinity Gauntlet stuff. Thanos is my favorite character, one of my favorite characters, him and Hulk. Um, this is absolutely classic. I have this in the CGC 9.8. I should send it to get reholded with a George Perez label, but super, super fun. Oh shit! Yo! This is hilarious because I just bought one the other day from Peddling Pete's Auctions. 
Superboy number nine. First appearance of Shark Boy. I mean Shark Boy. Wow, Shark Boy. Clearly, I'm thinking about wrestling with uh, what's his name, Shark Boy from TNA Impact back in the day. With his, I'm bugging. Yo, first appearance of King Shark. I said Shark Boy. Yo, this is super fire. This is one of those keys that are still underrated and still uh, affordable. So I have picked this up a couple of weeks ago and yo, to get another one, this is fire. Yo, so far this box legit is amazing. And then we get to this Venom. I have no idea what this is. I might have to crack this out the plastic, but a Venom variant, possibly a wraparound. This thing is fantastic. Let me just take it out. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, so let me just, I'm gonna fold that tape because I'm gonna switch the bag because that is packing. Yes! Oh my god! So it's Venom number 25, Legacy 190, wraparound cover. Amazing, amazing. What is that? A uh, homage to 262 or something like that? Uh, amazing Spider Man, not 262, 362, I think. Yo, so that's dope. So that's the first box off rip. That first box would have definitely hit value because I know what I paid for that King Shark the other day. And yo, this <laughs> that's the first box. Now let's crack into the second box. Uh, the Superior Spider-Man number seven. I don't know anything about this if I'm gonna be completely honest. Superior Spider-Man number seven, cool cover. Definitely a cool cover. But uh, let me know if there's anything key-ish about this, key-ish. Moon Knight number one. <laughs> Yo, this is, I know this cover, like I don't know a lot about this Moon Knight Jeff Lemire run either, but I know this cover is hot and sought after. Moon Knight number one, this is Fuego. Fueguísimo, loco, ay, Dios mío. Yo, super fire. Uh, this looks like a Rogue Sun, John Jang. I think it's Rogue Sun, I'm gonna open it and check out the back. Uh, John Jang, you know, John Jang is the, oh shit. <laughs> oh my God, I just saw something that's next. John Jang is the homie. Big ups to John Jang, man, he's doing his thing. Great to see him doing, transitioning from this exclusive covers to now he's doing B covers for DC Comics. I know he's been, he's gonna be on the B covers of Action Comics. So I think Lee Bermejo is on the A cover. I'm not sure, I don't quote me. And John Jang on the B cover, but shout out to John Jang. Let me make sure I don't, let me do this, this. Let me, let me pull out the board. Everybody yells at me to pull out the board, but I usually pull out the comic. Uh, just a John Jang, yeah, Rogue Sun number one, the, Comic Kingdom of Canada exclusive, which I think they changed, they've since rebranded, right, to Comic Kingdom Creative or something, but that's fire. And then of course, one of the most controversial covers in the history of mankind, Avengers Annual number 10. And this is the first appearance of Rogue. And why well, I say controversial covers of all time, because people say this is like one of the ugliest first appearance covers of all time, but this is Fire. This is the first time I've actually owned this. Like, I've, I've never even held it in my hand. But this is dope. Got a couple of spine ticks. I would grade this at like a seven, five, eight, maybe. Um, but even still, and that's just looking at the cover, not looking at the back and opening it and things like that. But, yo, this is dope. Another book that's uh, kind of heated up. Keeping going. The recount. Number one. <laughs> I'm like looking at it. And I'm like, yo, that is fire. Uh, love the recount. I don't know who's on this cover. Don't know who's on the cover, but that's pretty dope. The recount. And then, oh no, all right, you know what? Let me just put the last book down so there's something that I could be like, whoo, and then spin it around and show it. Uh, Marvel Comics number 1000. This is fire. This Gabriel Delato cover. Yo, super dope. Super dope. My, my main man, Remy Q, Remy Q Studios has this in a 9.9, nine. Uh, but Marvel Comics 1000, Gabriel Delato cover, super dope. There's a big uh, spine bend that you can see over here. Oh, corner bend, spine bend. Damn, for a spine bend on a freaking square bound, you gotta really like go in on that. But that's dope, man. Gabriel Delato is one of my favorites. And then the last raw book out of this $140 comic book mystery box, boom. Yo, what? I'm not well versed in Star Wars comic books, if I'm being honest, amongst a bunch of other comic books, but I think this might be a, a, a big book. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yo, this is dope. 
I, I have to figure it out. Let me know in the comments if uh, this is something. I'll probably figure it out by then because I got to do my research while editing this. But I think this is a big because I've seen this before and then whatever her run. But anyway, that's cool. I'm happy with this. Yo, overall, $140, $140 total, $270 boxes. This is absolute fire, 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 fire for this price point. One of the best boxes I've ever gotten. That makes Windows dope, Marvel Comics 1000 dope recount. Avengers, Rug Sun, John Jang, this Moon Knight is fire. The Spider-Man, I'm not really too much into superior, superior Spider-Man if I'm being honest. This Venom cover, uh, Homage is dope, King Shark, Infinity Gauntlet, super fire. I'm not gonna lie, these are dope, but I don't collect uh, We Live, so I might have to move those, but that still goes into the fire. This, oddly enough, and I'm not a giant Superman fan like that, I think I'm marked big for this. I, this I'm really excited to figure out what this is. This is fucking fire, oops, language. And then of course that Dark Hawk number one and then this Ghost Rider. So, yo, this box was crazy, son. Anyway, we gotta do the total value. So what's the total value of this box? And that's gonna do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. As always, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, share this video, tell your friends about me, consider joining the Link Squad. And as always, most importantly, spread love because it's the Brooklyn way. Peace.